Hey everybody, welcome to another one of Chris's beer reviews. Thank you for joining me for more than a year to date. Um, today I will be doing my beer review in a wonderful uh, UK Samuel Smith pint glass where I will be reviewing a wonderful Lancaster UK uh, bomber. Uh, the brewery is called Thwaites, that's T-H-W-A-I-T-E-S. It says, best of British beer. It says, uh, full flavored with a hop aroma. And it says, so more-ish, which is kind of strange. So more-ish. I don't know what that is supposed to uh, insinuate, but whatever. We got a 4.4% ABV brew here at 500 milliliters a bottle. These are family brewers. Uh, you're, you're, they won the European, European Star uh, Gold Award, which uh, they kind of show right here, which is cool. We got a boring, boring blank cap. And back briefly, uh, it says winner of the gold medal for best English beer at the European Beer Star Awards. This Chestnut flavored ale has a warming, full flavored taste with a hint of toffee and biscuit. I'm just joking, that's biscuit. Um, yeah, I don't want to read the ingredients again of that stuff. I kind of like to go in a little bit, a little bit, uh, a little bit blind. Now, I I do apologize. Some people are gonna crap on me for this one, but I pulled this off of my balcony. We're at December. 21st here and I'm still pulling beer off my balcony and I believe this being the UK beer that it is I should do it more justice by drinking it at room temperature so I, I apologize for those who might not like the idea of what I'm about to do but I'm not waiting an hour sorry so here goes oh starting to creep up to the top there let me get it before it's too late there we go it's already starting to look in color like a very UK beer. All right. I guarantee you that if I was pouring this at a warmer temperature that we would have gotten more head there. Uh, we got about a one finger head, off white colored head, very nice foamy looking bubbles. Uh, we got a beautiful, beautiful, sexy uh, uh, hazelnut looking color. Is that what it said too? No, I didn't. I'm losing my mind. But, uh, yeah. I do pick up hops on the aroma. I, I, just, I couldn't tell you which ones they are. Probably uh, Fuggle Hops. If I'm wrong, that's because I uh, sort of quasi-pulled that out of my rear. But it does smell very much like a Ukrainian beer. Or not Ukrainian, like an English beer. Um... Very, very much. Head's almost gone. Uh, I'll, do the, I'll do the color a little bit more justice. Uh, we're looking at a little bit of a very like mahogany looking color almost, a light mahogany looking color. And uh, there doesn't appear to be a vast amount of carbonation uh, coming up from the bottom. It, it almost looks like there's no carbonation whatsoever. So I'm interested in how this is going to taste versus how it looks. Good. So the hops that you would generally taste in a English beer, uh, this tastes very much like that, but it also doesn't taste in the long run. Ooh, sorry. In the long run, uh, it, it doesn't taste all around like one of those types of beers. It generally does have its own primary taste. It's that aftertaste, that English aftertaste that many English beers uh, uh, are well known for. It, this is oozing that in flavor at the end. And you know what? You may not be able to see very much carbonation in that beer, but there is the perfect amount of carbonation in that beer. I wouldn't want it to be any more carbonated or any less carbonated. It is perfect. Um, very well-rounded.
goes down incredibly smooth. And when I mean smooth, I don't mean like Guinness smooth. I mean like like how do I explain it in, in its realm of smoothness? Um, in an extremely refreshing, uh, well balanced way. Like you could you could you could chug this thing back and it will quench your thirst like no tomorrow. Got a little bit of lace play going on here too. Already starting to pick up on some some objects. You know, we got like a little bird here. We got a little duck going on over here, playing around in the water. <laughs> Excuse me. Very nice. I didn't think I was gonna like this particularly because I'm not a big English beer fan, but if I were to have this, first time I ever tried an English beer, I'd probably say, hell yeah, I love English beers. <coughs> Marty, if you're watching, gotta try this out, mate. You're gonna love it. Uh, well, it sure is one of those beers that tastes the same all the way throughout. I'm not starting to uh, pick up on any change in flavor uh, whatsoever. Uh, yeah. If anything, maybe that English aftertaste is starting to... Uh, become a little bit more prominent near the ending, but that's about it. I'm going to give this a wonderful review, a uh, wonderful rating in my review. Let's say uh, I'm going to give this a, for an English beer, I'm going to give it a 4 out of 5. It is very refreshing, very thirst quenching, and yeah, it is, uh, it is an example of what all English beers should be like. Uh, so for those people who are either not into English beers or they've never had an English beer, pick up the Lancaster Bomb Lancaster. Yeah, fuck. Pick up the Lancaster Bomber and enjoy it because uh, it's really good. And that's where I'm going to leave this off. So uh, don't drink and drive, but drink responsibly. Have a nice day. Cheers. <laughs>